morning, good morning, everybody. We're sitting here in Valcour, Quebec, just waiting to get loaded. Once I'm loaded, I'll tie it down and we're headed west. It's a 4,000 kilometer trip. We're going to northern, well, mid-northern Alberta, a bit northwest of Edmonton. So about 2,500 miles. I'm gonna be stopping at home along the way, getting a reset for my log books, and continuing on to deliver this next week. It's gonna be a good trip. Tag along if you want. Hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every day while I'm on the road. Hit that like button after the video if you liked it. Leave me a comment down below letting me know where you are and who you are. Great to get to know you too. You see me every day. I never get to get to know you guys. I can get away from this reflection. Wow, that sunshine, right? Oh boy, everywhere I go. There we go. Okay, that is our trip. There's my truck over here in Quebec. Quebec. And we're going all the way out here to Alberta. That's my first drop in Alberta. My second drop is a little bit further west towards the British Columbia border up there. But uh, yeah, 3,968 kilometers. I'm gonna go right past home there. Don't mind that little thing in the middle there. That's just the whatever. It's there. Can't take that off of there. Yeah, going right past home, right in the middle there in Manitoba. So I'm gonna stop by at home for a reset and, uh, and continue on. It's gonna be a good trip. Put you back up here where you belong. Make sure you're charging. Are you on the charger? Are you on the charger? I always gotta make sure. There we go. Okay. Come on. All right, there we go. It's gonna be a good one. Long day ahead of us. A long, long day. Full, full day. As full as it can possibly be. Because I've got the clearance to, uh, well, I don't need to cross the border, so I don't need border clearance. But it's confirmed I'm gonna stop at home for a reset on the way there, and I'll still make the appointment time. But the sooner I get home... 200 meters, turn right on. New points of hail, RTE243. Sorry, the sooner I get home, the more time I get to spend at home. First, we gotta get out of small town Quebec. Thank you. 
Montreal today because I learned my lesson yesterday. I'm not getting paid enough to go through that tunnel in Montreal. I'll tell you that right now. So we're going to go here and pay the toll man. I know we try to avoid this as much as possible. I don't have a transponder for this uh, toll, so I've got to go through here. i got to pay with a card. I'll pay the money. There's no way I'm wasting two hours again. Crazy Montreal traffic.
Timmy's or another coffee shop. There's always no parking signs all over the place. Obviously for the trucks, because the cars can go park in the parking lot. Trucks are too big, so they usually park along the side of the road or somewhere else. No, no, no. Not in this town. Not in every town. Every town, this it's like, they don't want truckers to get their coffee. It's a sad thing. I get why they do it. It's not really safe when that many trucks stop all at once. So, whatever. We'll keep looking. I'm about halfway through the day right now. We're getting pretty close. Halfway, now over halfway from Ottawa to Sudbury. Or is that North Bay? North Bay. Yeah, halfway to North Bay from Ottawa. Long way to go yet, though. We'll be driving into the night. I think we could classify this as Northern Ontario. This is the beginning of the Canadian Shield on the east side. Gotta go right through the Shield to the west side where we enter the beautiful, beautiful coveted province of Manitoba. The province everyone always speaks of. The province everyone wants to be in. That's why there's only like so few people living in Manitoba. It's like an elite club. Only the best of the best. Very hard to get in. It's like a, a VIP province. Especially the southern part of it. But if you ask me, I'm not biased at all. No. Du Rivière, two rivers. Right along the border of Quebec, just off to our right, across this water, is Quebec. We're on the English side, but there's still a lot of French speakers here. A lot more French speakers on this side than English speakers on the other side. I think. What do I know? I'm probably wrong. But here is your sign anyways. It's not winter yet. Get the boat out. Don't put it away yet. Get it on the water. Go do some fishing. Or just go sit out on the water, bring a sweater, do what you gotta do. Don't give in to winter just yet. Still looking for coffee. I'm gonna have to find some soon. This is around the time of day when I need, uh, I don't even, I like to have one right when I, like just after I wake up, it gets me going for the day. And then another one just after the sun sets, just to give me a little bit of oomph, just to, you know, transition from daytime to nighttime. Otherwise my body some, suddenly just goes, oh look, it's dark out, it's time to go to bed now, and it gets all tired. But I figure if I time my coffee just right, just after the sun goes down, right at twilight, bam, I got energy to run, drive through the whole night. And we still got a long way to go. Like a long way to go. Feels like we've been going all day, not even half done. I'm getting close to halfway for the day though. I'm getting close. At the end of this road, there's home. And then we're going to continue on to Alberta yet, but I'm stopping at home, so you know me. Home is on the radar, so there is no stopping, no wasting time, no delays. We're on a mission. A mission to get home. Still on our quest for a good cup of coffee. Will it be this town? Who knows? I'm pretty sure I know they have a Tim Hortons on the other side of this town. I just can't remember if there's parking there or not for trucks. My guess would be nope. But we're gonna At find out. Take the second exit in 600 meters. Mattawa, home of Big Joe Mafra. The sign says, I don't know who that is. It's a big deal around here. Show them your respect. See, everybody's got a subway. Everybody got a coffee joint? We gotta make a hard left up here. And I think, I think there's one down there. I think there's a Tim.
Simmies. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Success. So I'm good to go for the rest of my day. I'm just gonna make up some supper here real quick. Eat it, because that's what you do when you make supper. I don't know why I have to explain like every little detail, but I can just tell you I'm making supper and you're gonna know I'm gonna eat it. But I'm gonna make supper and then I'm gonna eat it. Then we're gonna head down the road and we'll get as far down the road as we can tonight. Like I've been saying, I guess this is more so a normal day, rush, rush, rush. It's more special when there's not a rush, like yesterday. It was a day for delays. Today is not a day for delays, so I don't have too much time, but I have set aside a certain amount of time here, just a little bit, so I can make some food, heat it up, and get it in my stomach. I'm a lot more careful about what I eat now. So when I do prepare my supper, I used to just walk out of Tim Hortons with whatever I felt like eating at the time, you know, three donuts. Now I just walked in there, I just had a coffee. I walked out with a coffee, that's it. I'll eat whatever's in the truck. Looks like that ESO truck stop is right full. There's another Petro Pass around the corner. Scale. Turn left on First Street, Highway 11. Scale is closed, so that's always good news. Can't argue with that. It's right here on the left. The best scale is a closed scale. It's the only good kind of scale. I'm almost done for the day running out of time very soon. Continue on this road for 214 kilometers. Day. I'm just grabbing my coffee, getting ready to go for tomorrow's vlog. It was a long day on this vlog, and it's a long day tomorrow for today for me as well. So two long days, really, really long days. But we're gonna get it done. So thanks for watching today, everybody. Me and old blue appreciate it. She's dirty. But she's been working hard. So we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, subscribe, hit that like button. All the things you do for all the YouTubers you like, right? If you want to go one step further, you can become a member. Click join now down below. It'll tell you more about it. Other than that, 
I appreciate all the comments and I do read them all. See you tomorrow.